2019 was not the best year for me. As I live in Germany, I refer to it as 2019. The year started off with my father passing away. And then six months later, so did my mother. But the universe, it works in strange ways. As in September, my wife, Steffi, who is German, so since Brexit, I refer to her as my visa, became pregnant. So it was a case of you take two, we create two more. So 2020 started off a lot more positive. The comedy club that I co-run, Cosmic Comedy, was doing great. And I remember speaking to my business partner, Neil, and saying, you know what, mate? The only thing that can mess this up is if me and you have a silly falling out. And then COVID popped its head around the corner and was like, I beg to differ. I remember the night before the first lockdown, like it was yesterday, as I was doing my comedy show at the club and I was going to get it filmed to be my special. I'd hired a film crew, I spent quite a bit of money and I was expecting a full house. But due to the lockdown confusion, only about 30 people turned up. So um, long story short, I haven't got a special. So the lockdown didn't start off too great. But very quickly, I realized that this could actually be a positive as I could spend the last two months of the pregnancy giving Steffi 100% of my time. And, you know, just living, not worrying about promoting comedy shows or booking comics. Thankfully, the Berlin Senate provided financial support to freelancers, so I didn't even have the fear of whether I could pay my rent or not. I almost felt like I was retired, and I blooming loved it. (laughs) The twins arrived at the end of May. And again, the lockdown worked out perfectly for us as I didn't have the fear of having to rush back to work as all the clubs and bars were closed. You see, normally as a new parent, one of you has to go back to work, but I could just spend 100% of my time bonding with my kids, supporting my wife and trying to be the best father I could possibly be. And I love being a new father and I still do. Just watching their daily development, it's such a privilege. Little things will totally make my day, like feeding my daughter and finishing all her food, or watching my son's reaction the first time he ate pumpkin. (laughs) He loved it, by the way. I'd have other comics and performers ask me if I miss performing, and I realised that this was the longest I'd been off stage since I was a teenager. And to be honest, I didn't miss performing at all because I still was performing. It's just now my audience were a lot younger and a lot smaller than they were before. You see, I performed in front of massive crowds, but that's nothing compared to making my little babies laugh, especially my boy, because he already has this real guttural laugh that will totally fill my heart with joy. I don't have to worry about creating complex jokes. (laughs) All I have to do now is blow a raspberry at them to make them laugh. I'll be like, oi, oi, look at this, look at this, look, 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 look. Hey, hey, I still got it. Hey, I still got it. I still got it. One of the things I loved during lockdown was going for daily walks with the kids. It's, it's amazing how kids bring people together. For example, our neighbour downstairs has always been a bit of an unfriendly, miserable fella. But since we had the babies, every time he's seen me, he's been like, Hey, how are the kids? How are you coping? Is there anything you need help with? Also, total strangers would just approach us in the street asking if they can have a look at the kids. They would share their stories of their families with us. Usually it was older German people. So actually, it really helped me with my German language skills. Although, to be honest, a lot of the time, I didn't have a clue what they were saying to me. I'd just be like, yeah, 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 thank, thank you, John. We reopened the club again at the end of August. And again, to be honest, it was a lot easier going to work in the evening than having to stay at home trying to put the kids to sleep. So um, my hat does go off to all stay at home parents. The second lockdown started in November. And again, it worked out perfectly for us as the twins were in their fifth month, which can notoriously be a hard development stage. So we locked down just at the same time as my little boy decided 
he didn't want to go back to sleep after waking up in the middle of the night. He'd rather just stare at me and just gurgle, which wasn't such an issue, as now I didn't have to worry about getting enough sleep, so I had the energy to perform the next day. I could just be like, it's okay, son. Take all the time you want. We've got all the time in the world. Look at this, look at this. Hey, hey, I still got it. I, hey, I still got it. I still got it. Hey, hey.